<laughs> okay, I have my next story. Are you ready? Ready. I'm so this ready. This person says it's the funniest workplace dating horror story. The funniest. So okay. See how that's a high bar, sir. That's a, yeah. That's a okay. high bar. Um, we had two female employees who were best friends and worked the same shift. They became okay. close, hung out outside of work, including their husbands in their hangouts. Eventually, Great. an affair started between one employee and the other employee's husband. Once it was found out, the employees having the affair, the employee having the affair actually became pregnant with the other employee's husband's baby. And the friendship collapsed. Man. Then the pregnant well, no employee collapsed. <laughs> don't sleep with your friend's husband. Okay. <laughs> then the pregnant employee came to HR to complain that the other employee, her former friend, was not happy for her and her new pregnancy and was turning the staff against her. No, honey, you did that all on your own. I'm sorry. You have the audacity to complain that your your ex friend is not happy enough for you when you are having a baby with her husband, and you brought that all to work. <laughs> I just yeah, <laughs> right. At the beginning, I'm like, this is great. You and your bestie, your husbands are going to be besties. You can all hang out. Like, what could go wrong? Don't sleep with the per- you're gonna ruin this friendship dynamic. You found the the unfindable perfect friend. couple to hang out the perfect couple friends. Yeah. Why are you gotta go sleep with each other? I love that the person who wrote this in wrote the funniest uh, that this was the funniest <laughs> workplace. Because I'm like, oh my a God. funny and also funny ha ha or a funny, funny, funny. <laughs> um oh, I Wow listen the where wow. I draw the line is HR in this story too. Would would I, I would be like, hey, um, <laughs> this sounds like a, a personal situation. Yeah, I was like, this is not an HR's responsibility. But this is a, beyond my power and potential to help here. That's where we say this is above my pay grade. We need <laughs> professional counseling. I suggest that the four of you go to group therapy and deal with your problems. I would also just say like. I don't know. We don't know well, all the details, remember? And we're never going to judge anybody for what anyone wrote in. But like a line for me is not to ruin a friendship and do something yeah. with a friend's husband. That's just like a line I That's, don't think I would ever potentially cross. Right. right. Ever. And like, it, you know, it could be one of those situations where both couples were unhappy in their marriages yeah. and they found true love and now everybody's fine. What Great. Like, but why does HR have to get involved with this one? Like, because your friend is not happy enough for you at work. Like, is she? I mean, here's the okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> again, yet again, here's <laughs> the <laughs> thing. <laughs> if if your if the non-pregnant friend is creating a hostile work environment for you, even if you brought that hostile work environment on yourself, um, that is an issue where, like, as HR, I might need to step in and be like. Listen, that's not a bad. Yeah, listen, care, care, fun. I don't know what her name is. Care, fun is her name now. Listen, care, fun. I know that Jacinda slept with your husband and is having his baby, and that sucks for you. But this is a place of work, and y'all need to resolve this shit outside of work. You cannot be creating problems for the workplace. Yeah, maybe you both need to take some time off to handle your shit. Yeah. That's like where but I also, think also your job as HR is not to be a marriage counselor or a friendship therapist or an uh, a mediator of infidelity. <laughs> like everyone just thinks it's HR's job to get your snacks, plan your parties, mediate your divorces. Like this is not this is not my job. Yeah, I. That's Ooh. where I think like I would come in where I'm like hostile work environment, absolutely not acceptable. Friend yeah. drama, please resolve on your own time and your own space. It is really hard yeah. though. Like sometimes, I mean, we're deciphering so often um, fact from feeling that it's right. It's so tough sometimes to be like, yep. well, here's what's happening. So I would just say like as much as possible, I would say if it is not happening at work and this is not creating workplace hostility, it is not my problem to resolve as your HR person. Mm-hmm.